Trump dares armed his men to carry out alleged threat to invade or take over Southeast Nigeria. Okay, it's happening now. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has dealt armed herdsmen to attack Southeast Nigeria after a threat by some group of herders to attack and take over the region. A group of herdsmen had reportedly threatened to invade the Southeast and take over the land, saying they had done so in some other parts of the country. However, the spokesperson for the Namdekanu led group, Imar Powerful, said they were waiting for the suspected headers to carry out their threat, adding that such assassins would not be spared. He said, We are waiting for them, let them come and invade and take over Igbo land. We will not spare them. Let them come again and invade any part of Igbo land and let us see if they can succeed. They can only do what they are doing in the places they are doing it now, but not in Igbo land. Everybody knows that these people are the problem of Nigeria and we cannot relent until their evil control is dissolved. We are used to their daily raging and threats, but we are waiting for them to come again and attack Igbo community and we promise them that they will never escape. He said, okay, the Southeast leaders, I believe they have, they have heard something about this threat and they will not act until when the attacks has, uh, uh, is being carried out by Fulani Hesmen. They will not act until when Wahala don't start. This is how these people, you know, behave. They will go threaten people and all that. The next thing you see them carrying out the 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 threats ipop is the only government we have and known in the land of zion because they are our highs we used to see and hear we used to hear why ipop is leading is because they then be talk talk on do let the herdsmen not there or they will see anyhow IPOP don't even spare our people that are causing havoc in the land of Zion. How much more foreigners? I hear you, IPOP and HSN. And may the good Lord continue to protect and bless you guys. Even Comrade Bello Tuji knows that Biafra land is no-go area. That is why he focused on Baba Omar's region. The ESN is hungry for bushmeat. Men are hungry for a showdown. Nigerian government paid Taliban government in Afghanistan one million dollars to send fighters to come and help them attack and take over Biafra land. But we all know how it will end. Biafra is a divine project. Anybody who tries to, to uproot Biafra is living to regret it today because it all backfires. Instead of Fulani to take over Biafra land, the world would rather come to an end. Hmm. Referendum, referendum is the only way out now. Biafra is the only answer in Nigeria to save lives. The South is no go area. Stay away from South East for your own good because Nigerian armies will not save you. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. Nigerians are saying that it's only type of member they know as their government in Nigeria because they are the autogona do. They talk and they do what they say. Like what I said at the beginning, that the government will be aware of this threat now. They won't shake. They won't do anything about it until those people will carry out their evil activities. Then maybe if IPOP member, you know, try to repair them, while I go come boss for them, you see, all this eye service, you have to stop. You have to protect the people you sworn, you know, to 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 protect, to govern, because that is the first primary uh, assignment of every government. The, the Nigerian government will also look the other way, even though they're here. You get. So, I probably have told them, you people have to stay away. How can you come 
to occupy our land. And this is the problem. These people, they want to uh, occupy people's land. Nigerian government do not want to hear people's complaint about that. That is why they look the other way when people complain about Fulani herdsmen killing and taking over their land and all that. They don't want to talk. But once you just say, okay, you people come and come, 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 come up for our bush, they will start telling you that it's against the constitution of the country. The, the, the governor of uh, South Easterners, Mekuna, they listen to waiting to happen. This kind of matter um, should not be taken for granted. The Fulani herdsmen, they have threatened to come and take over uh, Biafra land. It's not something we just keep quiet because I probably have said. Do what, what, that's what they call investigate, um, independent investigation, carry, carry, it, carry it out. Let the world know that you are working. It's not by coming to social media to rant. Do something about these people who are killing people. Okay, someone said here, yeah, this group of herdsmen guess sense. Is it not, is it that simple? They think they can take over some places or even the whole region. How many are they? Even the army can't do it. Martin Namdekano will come out victoriously. He is destined to restore Biafra. And there is no power on earth that can stop, that can stop it. Nothing can stop the coming of that whose time is here. Nobody can stop the sun from rising. All must hear Biafra. It is only Biafra that trembles the Fulani government and Fulani Caliphate. The forest and the bushes in the east is, is, is in fear, okay, because of these people. The federal government will not say anything. The state government will continue to remain mute until they start their evil work. May God see us through, he said. So guys, these are some reactions. What's your take concerning this? Let's hear from you. Can you share your thoughts with us below the comment section? Thank you very much. Bye for now.